This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and here is another edition of why your fucking ass needs to start paying attention to politics and to vote. Like seriously, y'all need to take this politics of it seriously. Um... Again, not asking you to understand every nuance and aspect, but to pay attention and to have some basic knowledge. At least enough to know who can and who can't screw you and who is actually out there trying to screw you blatantly instead of blanketing everybody under one tent. Here's a particular case of who you need to know who's screwing you and don't blanket everybody. So... First, a little background. Tom Tillis is a senator from North Carolina. He recently was up for re-election against, oh gosh, I know his name was Cameron uh, something. Um, it, it's, it's inconsequential because he was a fucking Cunningham, I believe is the last name. Is it? Cunningham, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cal Cunningham, sorry, not Cameron. Whatever. Stupid. Dumb fuck is his name forever. Because, see, this guy, he was kind of like looking like he was in. He was going to win. People were celebrating him. You know, people really thought that he had a great chance to upset Tom Tellis and be one of the um, seats for the Democrats in the U.S. Senate. Um, and to be quite honest, had he done it, it would have made this whole Georgia runoff a little less um, important because, you know, people wouldn't be on edge over this and, like, pushing you hard to get these two seats to flip the Senate. <sighs> what happened was he cheated on his wife, and it came out during his run and that pretty much tanked him. Now, a lot of people thought that maybe people would, like, look at that and be like, well, we'll ignore this, you know, moral outrage that we have over what he did. And we'll still vote for him because at the end of the day, we'd rather have him than a fucking asshole like Tom Tellis. Well, that didn't work out that way. People were turned off from him and he lost. So Tom Tillis, to reward us for <laughs> allowing him another term, decides this week to try to sneak in a bill which will effectively make stuff like what I'm doing now harder for all content creators. Um, if you're live streaming, recorded content, whatever, he means to make sure that you can potentially go to jail if you do certain things. What is that certain thing? It's that thing that we've gotten so upset over Twitch about, which is copyrighted content. Having music in the background of um, your live streams or your videos that you don't have signed permission of or a license to use. And much more, not just that, um, any copyrighted material at all or anything that a company can deem copyrighted and deem that it's their property as far as media is concerned. What he's trying to do is he's trying to make it a felony to stream this content. Yes, he wants to make sure that if you stream Anything, movie material, music, potentially video games. Um, we don't know how far he's going to go, but he certainly has the, you know, he has the backing to do so. But if he were allowed to pass this bill, then you can be considered a felon for what you're doing. Think about that. Really think about that. 
This guy wants to make streaming <laughs> and having video footage of you playing a Taylor Swift song. Something that you could do probably three to ten for. Now, I don't know what he wants to set us the statutes for, but you you get the point. And the reason he's doing it was because he's got a lot of people um, who helped get him to office. And again, this is where the like pay attention to the details of who these people are um, helps. So here are the people who donated to Tom Tillis's uh, campaign over the last year. Comcast and NBC Universal. Charter Communications, another cable company. Uh, the Internet and Television Association of Political Action. Um, it's a North Carolina company that basically helps with the regulations. Um, AT&T. Sony Pictures. Fox. Nexstar. Salem Media Group, which is a group in the Carolinas, the Mid-Atlantic. Um, that's pretty big. Uh... Universal is a music group. Viacom International. Cox. Cox, Cox Cable. The Walt Disney Production Employees. <laughs> PAC. So, producers for Walt Disney. Warner Music. iHeart Media. Yeah. All of these people. The Sounds Exchange Incorporated. All these people gave this man... A thousand dollars and up to support him, and I guess now he's going to pay it off by trying to make what you do for a living. If you are someone who rely on streaming another content creating to pay the bills, he's going to put it to where what you do can potentially be a felony. That's. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's totally wrong. It's unnecessary. And the fact that he's trying to slide this into a relief bill for COVID as well is even more dastardly. But this is what people like him do. This is what they do all the fucking time and try to get away with that shit. Now, it'll probably not go through because I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't agree with this. Like, I don't think... Many people want to see others go to jail for this. It, it's kind of really a ridiculous um, suggestion, in my opinion, to want to put people in jail for something like this. But being the type of person that he is and has always been, um, being the stereotypical old white man who doesn't understand technology and anything like that, you know, of course he's going to go for it. And of course he's going to go for it because he's been paid to go for it. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Now, <sighs> I'm going to say this and then I'm going to stop because I know um, many of you are going to um, probably understand what I'm saying. Now, taking money from companies has always been done by politicians um it's just the nature of the beast sometimes they take it because they have to we've seen it happen before um but in this case it's totally clear that this is um someone who has taken it with intent on paying off that quote-unquote favor you know, and we've seen other people, even the people that we love, the AOCs and all that, take money from different corporations. But the difference between them and people like Tom Tellis is they, they're they using that money to try to get in a position to do something positive with it. And it sucks because sometimes you got to do that shit. Sometimes you just got to know who not to take it from, though, because some people aren't going to give it. Without expecting things. So you got to be smart about it. People like Tom Tillis don't care. Just give him the money so he can get the power. And that's the thing. Um, 
And that's the reason why we don't like packs and why, like, there's a lot of talk about getting rid of super packs and things like that. Like, you have this entire, like, basic, uh, pretty much the majority of the media industry coming together to get behind somebody who will protect their interests and their interests um, alone, maybe. And that's what we don't need. Um, it's not a problem with these companies giving money, but the extent of their influence should not be put out like this. It's it's dumb. It's dumb and it's sad. But these are the people who are in charge right now. And these are the people who a lot of times get in office because people don't pay attention and don't get involved in this. Like, when there's better people, like, again, he can't keep his dick in his pants, but Kyle Cunningham would have been a much better um, person to have in office for people who believe in progressive um, policies and who want people to try to do the right thing when it comes to our government. But eh, it is what it is. Hopefully this fails. If you live in North Carolina, please make your voice known. You can contact this office. You can complain. You can, you know, ask to discuss this, all of that. There are means to do so. You can look up his congressional office number. You can contact it. It should be on his webpage anyway. Um, it's public information. You have access to your um, Congress members. And you can push things and you can ask for certain things they you can make your voice known it's a little too late at the voters box but you still got a um got means to get involved and to express your opinions on this matter anyway as always you guys feel free to hit me up let me know what you think and i'll talk to you later it's your boy black makers in the mouth deuces